just been to three places that are inextricably linked with the life of Robert the Bruce. Uh, it's, it's certainly an event in the life. Way back that way, um, a few miles back, are the very ancient ruins of St. Philan's Chapel. Uh, quite a large priory at the time. Uh, there's very little left of it today and it's situated right on Kirkton Farm. Now, uh, Bruce was on the run at the time. He'd just been heavily defeated at the Battle of Methven and it, the outlook for him w was not good. So he was on the run and he came to the priory to refresh himself uh, and his men, but also to likely seek absolution for his crimes, for the murder of John Common in the church and things that played heavily on his mind. Now the McDougals got word of it that Bruce was there or they stumbled on him by accident but nevertheless he was flushed from there and just shortly after in this field right behind me you, you, you'll see the, the big white house in the background there this is known as the King's Field. This is where Bruce had to fight like heck to escape the grasps of the McDougals. And it was not easy. It was a bitterly hard fought fight. And uh, the, the word is that they came off worse, but they managed to flee. Bruce was almost captured at the time. One of the McDougals ripped the cloak from him and the brooch that held the cloak together is now in the McDougal Museum to this day. Now, straight after it, Bruce has to make for the Highlands. He's got no choice. And when you go up behind me there, the, the, these uh, uh, mounds behind me, there is a lock called Lock and Arm. Now, it's a very difficult lock to find. And once you do locate it, it's more than difficult to try and get there because it's extremely heavy going and boggy ground. But I did go out there and uh, I won't be denied with a little bit of terrain. I did go out there and the history states that that's where Bruce and his men discarded themselves of any items that were cumbersome or which held them back and they, they deposited them in that lock back there and one of those items is reputed to be Bruce's sword. They also didn't want to leave any trace and they headed up this direction north into the highlands hoping to somehow get to McDonald country to get help off them. But that was a wonderful trip out to uh, Loch Ann Arm there. It's, it's not easy to see. There's not too many people know about it. It's difficult to see and it's difficult to get to. So uh, well worth the trip here. This all happened in 1307, a long, long time ago. But uh, again, walking in the footsteps of Robert the Bruce.